Hey, so, yeah, I'm not coming in today. Or ever again. Excuse me? Yeah. Sorry about that. What the heck? You can't just quit. We need you here for another 50 years. Yeah, so don't actually do it that way. I've been working the same job for three years now, and I'd say that it's my first real job. I've worked a few different odd jobs in my life before now. Those odd jobs included working as a janitor, I worked as a cook in my high school cafeteria, I worked as a city pool lifeguard, summer camp counselor, and, and even in high school doing IT. My last job though was working for a small billion dollar company that made cakes. I did more IT work there partially as a help desk worker, but mostly as a systems administrator. And don't get me wrong, working for this company was an amazing opportunity. I learned so much. I learned more than just stuff about my field. I learned what it's like to work in a professional environment, to be crunched under high stress, people skills, and really what it's like to just function in a, in a large company. However, I started to notice a few other things, and those were things I didn't really like. The first thing I noticed was coming to work on Mondays. I would ask my coworkers things like, Hey man, how's, how's it going? Oh, you know, just another Monday. Ah, ha, ha. And I would get those answers all the time. Tuesday and Wednesday, the menu choices were even more boring with options like, Hey, how's it going? Great. And by the time Thursday rolled around, you get the almost cheerful, Hey man, how's it going? Good man, I'm doing great. It's Friday. Yet depressing response. The second thing I noticed was about myself and all the people I worked around. Everyone looked forward to lunch. It was almost like a game. Hey guys, what do you want to go for lunch today? I don't know man, let's get some Chipotle. Ooh, that'd be good, but I know we've been to Four Corners like 50 times in a row, but I feel like Four Corners, it's close, convenient. Four Corners Cafe, dude, they're yeah. boba's trash. Dude, let's <laughs> hit something this new spot I just found, Mr. Mike's Cafe. That's not a real place, okay. but I'm down. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's, let's go, go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Mr. Mike. And mindlessly scrolling through Instagram one day, I think it was a Gary Vee video I saw where he said, do the things that make you forget to eat. And, and then it clicked, you know, rather than that, we were looking forward to lunch. It was like an escape from work for an hour or so. Now being an hourly worker, I hardly ever went out for lunch. You know, if, if I wanted to eat lunch, it would have to be, you know, only 30 minutes or so, unless I wanted to lose more time. So typically I'd bring lunch to work, but yeah, I'd still find myself staring at the clock every five, 10 minutes, counting down the time until I could warm up my food, come back to my desk, and throw on a YouTube video of something else. So rather than loving what I was doing so much that I forgot to eat, I was counting down the minutes until I could eat and watch somebody else do what I loved. The last thing I noticed was that most of the people around me had been working there for 10, 15, 20, even 40 years. Is that really what I wanted to do? So, I quit. I saved up some money. I bought some really budget video equipment and a plane ticket to Bali, Indonesia. I decided to make this video to kind of document the beginning of my journey, but also to hopefully inspire someone out there to pursue it in the same way. I wanna encourage someone to to do what makes them happy instead of what makes them feel secure or comfortable in life. In about one month, I'll be packing everything I own and stuffing it into my tiny car. I'll be moving out of my apartment here in Tennessee and I'll be driving to New York while I'll be catching a plane. I have absolutely nothing planned for when I come back, no job lined up. And to be honest with you, it's a little frightening, a little scary, it makes me pretty nervous. But also at the same time, it's it's freeing and it's like a breath of fresh air. Having the freedom to pursue travel and making videos and committing to it 100% gives me a, a euphoric feeling. See, I don't have to sit at work wishing I could be doing something else. So to those of you who wake up every morning and, and are excited to go out and do what it is you have to do, 
Congratulations. I hope to achieve that someday. And for those of you that don't, figure out what it is that you love. What it is that makes you forget you're hungry and pursue it. Take the risk you have to take to get out there and kill the game. Oh, fake okay, on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'll even upgrade your 401 to a 402k. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? We need you right now. You can't just do this to the company. <laughs> your mom. <laughs>